I take a look at the Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet 1000. Is this your next antenna? Well, stay tuned for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. Well, do you enjoy informative and entertaining amateur radio videos? And is this your first time here? And make sure you press that subscribe button and click the little bell to be notified when future videos are released. Well, today I'm going to take a look at the Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet line of base loaded antennas. Uh, the Silver Bullet 1000 next to me and the Silver Bullet Mini are a variation of the popular screwdriver uh, style antenna. But instead of using a motorized slider, uh, these antennas, you manually slide the the cut tuning coupler up and down the coil. By removing all of the mechanical parts and using a manual adjustment, uh, you'll get a rugged and durable antenna at a reduced cost. According to the Wolf River website, what makes these coils different is their use of a grooved coil for proper spacing and placement of the high quality stainless steel wire. The tuning coupler uses a heavy gauge stainless steel pickup clip. You can feel that quality as you move the slider up and down the coil. There's a plastic screw that you can use to tighten the coupler, but in reality, it's not going to go anywhere unless um, you're in a mobile setup. Speaking of mobile, the coils are designed for both mobile, portable, and base use. The coils have a 3 8 by 24 screw on each end, so you can screw the coil into a mobile amount that has a 3 8 by 24 female thread socket. The 1000 weighs about 1.8 pounds, so you'll need a pretty rugged mount for mobile use. But the Mini, which will give you a mobile down to 40 meters, is about half that weight. The Silver Billet 1000 is designed for use on 10 through 80 meters, uh, with, um, and the Mini runs uh, 10 through 40 meters. The length of the whip makes a difference on, the, on, on which bands you'll be able to use with the antenna. With a 102 inch whip, the Silver Bullet will tune uh, way at the top at 17 meters, all the way down to the bottom of the 80 meter band. If you use a shorter whip, uh, you can add 15 and 10 meters, but then you're gonna lose the low end of the 80 meter band. I've had the Silver Bullet 1000 set up in my backyard all winter long, and I'm just running a 102 inch, uh, inch stainless steel whip. I had no problem um, with it tuning on 20, 40, and 80 meters, and I can easily tune down to the bottom of the 80 meter band where I was running it on FT8 uh, uh, most of the winter. So you might be thinking to yourself, you know, uh, what about the 160 meter band? Couldn't I just use a longer whip? Well, yes, you could. And I've had a conversation uh, with uh, the guys at Wolf River Coils at a recent ham fest, and I asked them that question. They indicated that they've had some success on the 160 meter band with a 17 foot whip, but because of the, the small diameter of the coil, uh, the bandwidth is extremely narrow. So using it on that band becomes you know, sort of a hit or miss sort of thing. In using the antenna, I had to set up on a tripod and, str and strung a couple wires out for a ground plane. Uh, you can use, you, you can cut two wires at about 35 foot each. Um, it'll work well with two radials, but the instructions re recommend at least one and or three or more for best use. Uh, cut to about one fifth the wa wavelength of your lowest operating frequency. So after running the wires, I connected the antenna uh, to my analyzer and then tuned my favorite operating frequencies. Alternately, you can use an SWR bridge and, um, and do the tuning from there. Wolf River does give you suggested spots for tuning on the coils uh, to make that process go a little bit faster, but you know, your, your mileage may vary. So I was able to get the tuning down to about 1.3 to 1 or less, depending on the frequencies. And then I like to mark those tuning spots with a little bit of magic marker so it's easy to change bands. Or you can just run a piece of tape around here and then, put, uh, and then just put your tuning spots on that, on that piece of tape. And then I connected my tuner and uh, commenced to operate. The tuner so really Bravo didn't need Niner, to search Victor, um, for, an, uh, for a tune at all. It, it pretty Bravo much Radio found it right away. So, uh, Oh, uh, so really, you could you could use this antenna without a tuner at all. You're, you'll be able to you'll be able to manually get the SWR down low enough. But I just do it for convenience' sake because then I can switch from uh, two antennas and so forth. As for operation, I was able to easily make digital contacts on FT8, just using a moderate amount of power, you know, about 40 watts. Voice contacts they were a little bit more challenging this winter. Propagation wasn't too good and I was dealing with higher than expected noise floors during my testing. As a vertical antenna, the signal tended to go long on the lower bands. 
I was more likely to talk out of state than in state on 80 meters. Uh, one option I've heard is uh, that, and I haven't tested this yet, is to mount the antenna horizontally and then use it for NVIS or near, near vertical incident skyways propagation. I will have to give that a shot the next time, you know, I'm, I'm testing out this antenna. Downsides with the antenna. The only thing I can think about is its weight. Um, that might be an issue if you're going mobile. So consider a sturdy mount for HF use, HF mobile. Uh, the second is going to be the fact that you need to go outside and manually adjust the slider to change bands. Again, that's not a deal killer. And, and an aspect is perfectly acceptable for portable use. So the final word is this is a great choice for portable and mobile HF operation. For mobile use, uh, you uh, take into consideration the mounting needs. Now, portable use is where this coil is really going to shine. They set up fast, and with an adjustable whip antenna, uh, you can tune it just about anywhere uh, across the bands. Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet 1000 and the Silver Bullet uh, Mini can be found online at uh, www.wolfrivercoils.com. And links to the products can be found in the video description below. So, as always, if you like this video, you know, give me a big thumbs up. I really enjoy that and also check out the videos that's suggested right over my shoulder here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button that pops up below me, and uh, the best way, that's the best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9 VBR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day in 73. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9 VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. And this ain't working with the darn. <laughs>